station. Product not yet rated. What's going on guys, Mace Bass 360 here, and I'll give you five reasons to play this game. Anyways, so as you can tell, Star Wars Battlefront, awesome game. I can't wait to even play the first 30 days of this game, play the demo. This game is going to be amazing as... Hell, I can't stress that enough. And by far going to be the most impressive game. Uh, I'll let you guys read some of this stuff. Uh, I'm president in access to the original Star Wars props and locations. Photorealistic visuals and authentic sound design from the talented team at DICE. Yes, and I am not reading that last line right there. There's no point. And what? What is this? Ground-based combat on a galactic scale. I knew this was going to be a thing. Mainly due to the fact that it has Battlefront in the name of the title. For the game. So, expect this to be like Battlefield. But Star Wars. So, <clears throat> wage epic multiplayer battles on Hoth, Endor, Tatooine, and the previously unexplored planet Celeste. Fire blasters, drive speeder bikes, awesome, snow speeders, and command adats. What you just saw that big guy in the damn video there, eh? Anyways, five for the fate of the galaxy. That's gonna be the last time I read one of those. Uh, what is this guy? What is? All right. So if some of you are on the fence of whether or not you should play this game or not, if you're saying, "Oh, uh, you can't," uh. Oh, I see, I see Darth Vader, but can you be Darth Vader? Play as iconic Star Wars characters. Right there, read it. and Read it! And plan to pre-order it. So, Fias, the galaxy's most memorable heroes and villains like Darth Vader and Boba Fett. Interact with some of the most beloved characters from the original trilogy become thy hero or thy villain of the battle oh what did, did the video not explain this right here boom engage in epic Star Wars dogfights and yes X-Wings, TIE Fighters and the Millennium Falcon yeah. And then, for the Jedi and Padawans alike, seamlessly swap. Now, this is going to be the best part about this. Seamlessly swap between first person and third person <clears throat> uh, perspectives. Partner up with a friend in online multiplayer, share unlocks, and have each other's backs on the battlefront. So, yeah, I'll unlock a weapon or something I can allow a friend to use. It's, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, okay. Fight for the Empire or the Rebellion offline solo or with a friend in carefully crafted missions. Pre-order and, and be the first to battle on the planet of Jakku. So, that's basically 
Star Wars Battlefront in a nutshell. I'm hyped for the game. I thought... At first I was thinking, you know what, this would be great as a massive multiplayer game. And it's a multiplayer game, massively. Now, depending on, like, if there's going to be servers that are going to hold, like, a certain amount, certain a number of players, I don't know. But, overall, I can't wait for this game to come out. It releases November 17th of this year. And uh, let's see. Um, a couple things I would like to see, I would like for them to do, is make it where you can customize the outfits and the weapons. You know, like multi, uh, up to like a three, maybe four, depending on what the weapon is, the outfit, and whatnot. Um, like say Darth Vader do like a do all black but have carbon fiber look on him. That'd be that'd be epic. Um I've had a couple people kinda on the fence about playing it. They'd only play it if you could uh customize you know, create your own character or customize the outfits, the weapons, even the hilt possibly change the lightsaber color but um yeah I, I mean it's you, you might as well say that about battlefield battlefields games but there's really no reason to do that like going there's no reason to go as far uh, customization wise into characters now Weapons and wardrobe outfits, that's a different story. I would like to see that, but again, it's it's not going to affect me on how I want to play. If the guys do that, awesome. If they don't, oh well. That's the developer's, uh, that's the developer's decision and ideas and whatnot. I mean, I imagine if if enough people pass the idea along, you know, it could happen potentially. But it's it's not worth you know saying I'm not gonna buy it. I I'll buy this game if they do this and this. But come on, it's Star Wars. You already got Star Wars: The Old Republic. What more do you want? You're not going to really get it in Star Wars Battlefront. You're not. Because it's a... It's a massive multiplayer game. First third person shooter. And... You get to be Darth Vader or Han Solo or... Boba Fett or... It's going to be epic. And then they're going to do another one that's probably, probably as this game progresses, if this game makes the biggest success that I know it's going to make, and that the developers probably know that it's going to make, the next Star Wars game that they do, next Battlefront game, I don't know, they, they might not name it Battlefront, they might may name it something different, but... The next game after this could be ten times better than this one. Game after that could be ten times better than the second one. Or, all three will be equal, but with more action. More maps. Of course, you know they're going to include DLC maps. DLCs. They're going to do it. They might throw characters into this one game. Like, uh, say if they decide to throw Anakin in there. 
you can either unlock him or he'll just automatically be thrown on the character list. Darth Maul. I would play the hell out of Darth Maul. Just keep in mind, guys, this this is the future of first person shooter. And third person. This game is probably going to outdo. No. I guarantee you it's going to outdo Battlefield. It's going to outdo Battlefield. In sales. In it's Star Wars. Not not only is it Star Wars. Look at your dog fights. Look at that. This this is like kind of like some uh Halo. He's got little uh does it does it uh can't remember what the shield's called. Dome shield or something like that. Anyways, you got this you got this and then you you're probably able to act like access th this guy I can't remember what it's called but guys he the only thing you can do on battlefield is be one or the other team and that depends on what map and all that so that's it for there it is November 17 2015 for PlayStation 4 Xbox One and Origin PC. So guys, I recommend I re I recommend you go out, you pre-order it. Hell, I might pre-order two of them and do a giveaway. And I don't know if I'll do the giveaway on my YouTube. I'll probably most definitely do my do the giveaway on Twitch on my uh Twitch channel if I pre order too. But other than that this game's gonna be awesome. You can ride speeders, you can you can dog fight, you can control the uh ad -ats. Are you not entertained by what you've seen, what I've read, what you've read? Nothing more can be said. So guys, I'm going to leave you here. Let you take in all this and I guarantee I'll probably never play Star uh Star Wars. Yeah, okay. I'll probably never play Battlefield again. Especially if if Battle uh if Star Wars Battlefront makes makes such a big impact that they end up doing another one, I'll be done. I know for a fact I will be done with uh Battlefield. I will be done with the Battlefield games. And I just got premium like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I just got premium for it. And I will let you know right now I will be done with Battlefield. If this game goes where I know it will go and where it will lead to I mean honestly Battlefield Battlefield's got one more game left in it it's got one more so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and before I close out fully 
Um, if any of you guys are interested, let's see. Uh, check this game out. It's free to play. I'll leave the description down below. Um, leave the link in the description down below. I felt I felt like I said leave the description down below. I probably did, but um, it's a free to play game. You can subscribe. Uh, your subscriptions are. Uh, let's see. That's your cartel coins. Your subscription plans are. Uh, 30 bucks for 60 days 15 15 bucks really it's it's gonna be I mean they don't tax no no game that I've ever played is taxed on subscriptions and whatnot you've got 29.99 for 60 days 30 days 14.99 90 days 13.99 um 180 days 12.99 it's 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 an awesome game. You can actually customize uh um your characters. You know you can do the tattoos thing, tattoo thing like uh, Darth Maul has. Um, let's see, that's that's all I can show you guys. Um. But anyways, I play I play Star Wars: The Old Republic on Twitch. I live stream it. Um, part of I made a group. It's just me, and I think it's just gonna stay that way. But it's me alone streaming, doing a charity stream event, and it's for St. Jude's uh, Play Live <clears throat> charity. And my goal amount is three thousand dollars, and I, my scheduled days are Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Um, I do. I've been I've been streaming as much as I can. If I don't see that I'm getting any former viewers, I'll stop streaming and, you know, go play another game or something like that. Uh, but I mainly stream Star Wars. I stream another game called uh, Guns and Robots. It's a kid-like game. So, like the rules are, it can't be a mature game. It can't, there, there can be no cursing. If I have face cam up, there can be no signs of alcohol or drug use. Um... And I actually have rules that encourage people not to curse in my chat, on my channel. Um, I do encourage everybody to, you know, have fun, hang out, uh, share the link for my channel and all that. Um, biggest rule is to donate to St. Jude before you do donate to me, uh, to my channel. Uh, let's see. But yeah, if, if any, any of you guys play Star Wars The Old Republic, feel free to hit me up. My, I'll, I have a link in the description below to my Twitch channel, and I'll have, uh, I'll, I'll give you my character, in-game character name, so you can add me. Well, both character names, um... One Sith Demon, but I'll have it spelled out in the description below because I spell it different. It's not Demon, like, correctly spelled. I put, basically, I put death into it. So it's D-E-A-M-O-N. That's how I did that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll leave my character names in the description below. And I uh, hope to see some of you, if not all of you, uh, stop by on my channel. 
Oh, if you have Roku, those of you who are not familiar with Twitch, Twitch is a gaming only, basically a gaming uh, stream channel website. Nothing but gamers, you know, any game you can think of, it's probably being played on uh, Twitch. So Twitch is now viewable through Roku. And what Roku is, if some of you don't know, Roku is a device that holds uh, Crackle, um, Hulu, Netflix, a uh, few other, uh, they do uh, like music type um, network channel things, but yeah. So, that's it for this video. That's all I gotta say for the my Twitch channel and whatnot. I have the links in the description below of the uh, <coughs> my channel and whatnot and uh, the game. If some of you, if even if you're new to Star Wars: The Old Republic, feel free to add me. I will add you. I will accept. I will uh, interact with you. I will play with you help you out if you need help um i'm also part of a guild as soon as i as soon as i because i'm not really new at uh star wars old republic it's just like if you put it this way if you sign up be committed to play on a regular basis or on like you know when you have time to play because I hadn't played in so long that my my main account was like shut down I had to basically create a new account and I had to create a new character and whatnot it was it was frustrating as heck so I hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to leave your comments down in the comment section below if you Star Wars fans and shooter fans alike plan to get the game what you're most excited about the game and what would you like to see in the game like what would you want the guys to add to the game also if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for previous videos and watch. I'm glad. I'm glad my webcam ain't up right now or refuses to act right. Um, because I'm like swinging back and forth in my chair. Oh, yeah. Subscribe for more videos and to watch previous videos that I've uploaded there's a couple that has crappy quality because I've had to mess with my OBS to uh... Huh. well uh... I had to mess with my OBS to like make it to where I'm able to stream on Twitch but uh, I always make sure that when I do uh, uh, record a video for YouTube, I fix it back to where it's decent. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And stay tuned for another video soon. Probably tomorrow. I don't know if I have time. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Enjoyed the latest trailer of Star Wars Battlefront and I will see you guys in the next video have a good day have a great day have fun play hard and later <laughs>